What's up guys, this is Burt Music and welcome to Modern Warfare 3, 10 years later. I can't believe we're already in the double digits, guys. Oh my, dude. All warfare is based on deception. That's right, Makarov, oh my god. It doesn't really take long for the nostalgia to set in, does it? But speaking of nostalgia, thank you guys so much for the insane support on all of the recent throwback Call of Duty videos. If you guys want to see me post more OG Call of Duty stuff, make sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can break over 30,000. The like goals for all of these videos have been broken more than our hopes and dreams of going outside, so thank you guys for that. But let's get into it. This game right here that came out in 2011, this was basically my entire senior year of high school. I know life the hell out of this game. Just look at my multiplayer, 200... What even is that, dude? 46 days played? Jesus. My senior year of high school, I played Modern Warfare 3 until like, what, three in the morning? Three or four in the morning, then I'd have to get up at six for school. Yeah, I don't even know how I managed to function. Like, I would basically just sleep almost every single class. I was terrible. Please don't be like me. But yeah, I mean, I know life the hell out of Modern Warfare 3. It's clearly obvious right here. We're taking a look at the campaign right now because, you know, a lot of people actually had some kind of mixed emotions about Modern Warfare 3 regarding the multiplayer. Some people absolutely love this game's multiplayer, and then other people were like, eh, it's just kind of whatever. But some facts are facts. I mean, Modern Warfare 3 at its time was one of the highest selling Call of Duty games ever. And this game held that position up until around the time of like Black Ops 3, which ended up outselling it. I don't know what it is about trilogies. I mean, everyone says that good things come in pairs of three. Pairs of three? Does that even make sense? But yeah, I mean, the fact that this game followed up from the Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 campaigns, you know, it definitely helped its case. Which looking back is probably a big reason why a lot of people didn't connect with Call of Duty Ghost the way that they did with Modern Warfare 3. I don't know if we're necessarily going to play any of the campaign. I haven't let's played it on nerd plays. But the biggest reason I wanted to bring up Modern Warfare 3's campaign is because because there's a lot of speculation that it's going to get remastered. Very similar to how Modern Warfare 2's campaign got remastered. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm not exactly sure if that's going to happen anytime soon, and I don't know if Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer is going to get remastered, or if this game's will. But shit, dude, I mean, it'd be nice to have the campaign at least remastered. That would still be pretty cool, even if we don't get multiplayer. But another thing that was really cool about Modern Warfare 3 was Spec Ops. Now, Spec Ops in Modern Warfare 3 was basically just like Modern Warfare 2's, but they also expanded upon it with Chaos Mode. And what was so crazy about this back in 2012 is that Infinity Ward actually saw, like, one of my world record videos that I had at the time for Chaos Mode and they posted it on their Facebook page. <laughs> now my channel was really small around that time. I mean, I only had like a couple thousand subscribers or so I had recently gotten partnered. So back then it was absolutely huge to get that video posted on their Facebook page. <laughs> but typically with these videos, I usually just stick to multiplayer because it's what everyone wants to see. We don't have any like train go boom moments in Modern Warfare 3 and I don't want to spoil the campaign if you haven't played it. But it's actually a pretty good campaign. Oh my God, I completely forgot about this. Like such a nice feature of Modern Warfare 3 at the time was that you could turn off the DLC maps and just look for the original maps. It's not that big. Oh my god. Wait, what? My, my fucking classes got hacked. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the only problem I have with the old Call of Duty games is that stuff like this happens. I mean, I don't know what's going on with fixed backwards compatibility, but I think this might have happened because when I was trying to do like the history of Call of Duty videos, I couldn't find a match on here. It says there's 30,000 people playing though, which is actually quite a lot. Let's see if we can find a TDM. We got Sea Town and Resistance. I mean, these are actually pretty big maps, but Modern Warfare 3 actually introduced some pretty good like small to medium sized maps like Mission, Hard Hat, Dome as well. I mean, there are actually some really good ones on here. I just don't know if anyone wants to actually play C Town. <laughs> oh my god, do you guys remember Call of Duty Elite Clans? I mean, my fucking calling card says Submerk Music. You can see my prestigious from the last Call of Duty games too. You have Black Ops 1, you got Modern Warfare 2, World of War, and then COD 4. That was actually so cool. Download COD Elite. Oh, it was the vault. That's what they called theater mode. <laughs> Play online to put your recent games in here. Okay, wait, what? I've got stuff. Yeah, oh my god, when my name was MM. At that time, I didn't even have, like, the Merc Music Gamer Tag. This is so weird. We got Arcade and Domination and whole gameplay on there. <laughs> That's what my gamer tag was, Merc Music HD. Oh, this is so weird. Drops it on hard hat. Why do we have full gameplays? Where's the clips, bro? All my clips are gone. How am I supposed to make my montage if I don't have my montage clips in my vault? <laughs> okay, well, I actually didn't have any clips at all, so that was sad. The community playlists were awesome. I mean, I remember when they added an Infected. It was so good. I miss just having all the party games like this, man. My shit froze while trying to look for Infected. I mean, whew. Maybe the backwards compatible version of Modern Warfare 3 on the Xbox One is broken. How did I forget the most iconic thing that happened on this game? Does anyone want to play Minecraft? <laughs> All right, let's just try to find TDM. Did I just see more people online? Hold up, hold up. How did it just jump up 60,000 players? What? 9,999 people playing? Th this is so sketchy. It the same Resistance Sea Town lobby? Yo, what the fuck is that thing? Kill the top player five times in a row. I've never even noticed this emblem before in my life. These emblems, though, they're so good. Oh. We got free-for-all on bootleg? Oh my god, this is gonna be so weird. This is actually too big of a map for free-for-all. Got Eric's MSR quickscoping class. This feels weird. Oh my god. I forgot they kind of nerfed YYing in this game. I'm lagging. And wow, this isn't terrible lag at all. Just throw down whatever that is. Oh, okay. Oh, I missed the sound of the MSR. But I suck. I can't tell if the connection is gonna improve or not. <laughs> like, I remember this. Oh my god, look at that face. It's the face of pure peace! Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? He was frozen. Let him go. Let him go. He's rolling with the ice 
chasing snow. Why can't he move? Like, what is this? No sliding, no dolphin diving, nothing. This is unusual. I'm so used to spamming some kind of slide or dive. I don't even fucking think about it. You camper! Well, camp in the middle! Oh, it's lagging again. You're so trash, kid. Wait, is my account just straight up infected? Like, every time I get a kill, it's doing something crazy. Like, look at that. What is that? Why do I get 10,000 points just for one kill? This game scares me now. Oh, he's got a kill streak. Oh, boy. Oh, final stand gross! <laughs> I forgot about death streaks in this game. Oh my god. Talk about trash. We gotta use some goofy shit, like... I wasn't actually able to play this game last time, so I'm gonna show you guys one of the fucking weirdest guns ever. You're still camping here. Why do you still do that? Yo, someone's got a stock M... He's in the corner with it! I'm gonna get you with this. That's right, guys. The XM25. Does anyone remember this thing? Where you have to aim and then click the left stick to mark the distance at which the thing needs to blow up. Talk about stupid. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I got a kill! That's the guy using it! This is truly one of the worst guns, one of the weirdest guns in Call of Duty. I tried to use this thing in the history of weird guns in Call of Duty video, but I wasn't able to find any lobbies back then. So hopefully this makes up for it, guys. I'm gonna do my best to win this free-for-all with this thing. Gotta put down my tech enthusiasm. I see you. I fuck- I saw you! Oh my- Nope, not mine. Not today. Maybe now? Oh, buzzkill! <laughs> this is the best gun ever! I, I felt the aim assist. Oh, come on, man! Don't camp attack. Tech enthusiasm. Oh my god, the lag is amazing. What are you even doing? Stop! Stop! Get out of my way! God! God! Fuck this car! I'm like lagging and shit I can't get around in. Ah! Oh god. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's not even playing. This is for everything. Blow him up! What the fuck? At least I got third place, though. I mean, I'm happy with that. I couldn't beat the top two people who are camping, but at least I got some kills. Okay, we can do either village or lock. I think lockdown's better for free-for-all. What am I gonna use? The FAD, the flappy anus destroyer. No, thank you. I'm kind of feeling the P90. Why not? Oh, dude, gold P90. That actually looks so cool. In the corner, what is the, the fuck? Wait, what? Oh, who actually camps here? What is this? Wow. No, oh, he's still there. Okay, there you go. Oh. Dodge the bounce and Betty. Bounce and Betty. Fight me. No. <laughs> P90 is kind of garbage. I hate the way these guys play free for all. I mean, this is. Oh my. I'm out. Nope. Not doing it. I was the host? Oh my god. How though? Okay, so for a lot of you guys who might be newer to Call of Duty and stuff, most of the, like, the new Call of Duty games run on dedicated servers, so the connection's pretty good. But if you've played the older Call of Duty games, you might be familiar with a term called host advantage. And that's because for the older Call of Duty games on console, they didn't have dedicated servers, so someone would have to host the match. Now, typically, when you were the host of the game, you would actually have a connection advantage, but I don't even know what the fuck's going on now. <laughs> Is lagging half the game host advantage? No, not really. Oh my god, heartbeat sensor though. Gross. Let's use it. We got split screens in here too, dude. Oh my god. I can't believe we actually got TDM on C-Town. I mean, this is so crazy. I'm- I actually really miss the spawn music for this game. I mean, it's actually so good. And we got Makarov's voice. Alright, look. We can take the take the secret way. Secret- Jump! Jump, you buffoon! What? What is this creature? And- He tacking suited there?! Look how cautious he is! Oh my god! Hello, Sir Deeks! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh. Come on. You know I'm gonna camp it. <laughs> my bad person for that. Dude, a 5v4 on Sea Town, this is gonna take at least a year. Then I'm gonna have to rename this video to Modern Warfare 3 11 years later. Enemy care package incoming. Come on, don't be leaving, guys. This is the only M Dub 3 lobby on the Xbox. Now we got a 5v3. Oh, she got a streak? What is that? Coming up? Oh, he's trying to put down a sentry gun. <laughs> I think what I miss the most from Modern Warfare 3 is actually just the specialist bonus kill streaks. Modern Warfare 3 is where the specialist bonus was actually first created, and it's the best version of it. Like, once you actually earn your specialist bonus from getting a certain amount of kills, you get every perk in the game. It might be slightly overpowered, but I mean, it's fun as shit. There we go. I got the specialist bonus. There we go. In the corner, what is the fucking- point? He's guarding the damn thing, dude! Who guards a sentry gun? You took away my specialist bonus, I'm gonna f Oh my- You are squ- How do you move it? You can't- What? He actually repositioned it, wow. I'm switching to my douche class. Nothing is gonna survive now. How are you not dead? Bro! What? <laughs> oh my god, I actually dragged him back to them. Let's use the PP90. I wanna see if this is actually still broken. And the FMG9s, oh my god. Dude, that thing shoots so fast! I don't 
don't think so. I don't even try it. Triple kill, let's go! Come on! I think I completely forgot that Modern Warfare 3 can actually be really rage-inducing. <laughs> Did he see me? He had the C4 ready, oh my god. Oh shit, oh my god, <laughs> he's gonna knife me, dude. Jesus, the flinch! How many times am I gonna get fucking cheesed by a C4? Don't wanna have to enter a room and try to fight someone? Mm. Well, that's a Simtex, but... And we won that one too, I was the best on the... 32 to 13? I don't know why that game actually felt like such a struggle. I actually did pretty good. <laughs> I kinda wanna use the L11, I mean, oh, it has such an iconic sound. It's not one of the better snipers in the game, but I really wanna use it though. I don't know what it is being back on Modern Warfare 3, but it feels so weird to be on here. Like, everything's just so different. You have strike packages, the perk balance is completely different. You got attack insertions and attack knives on the pistols, I mean, it just shows the difference in time, man. It just kinda feels like there's been so many features and different things in like the OG Call of Duty games that have never come back to the new ones. But it's cool, you know, I mean like Modern Warfare 2019 and Black Ops Cold War are clearly games that are trying to be throwback and you know, they definitely try their best to give you that old school nostalgic Call of Duty feeling, but I mean if you want the real thing, it's still here. Oh my god, dude, the L11 with gold though, bruh. So another thing you guys might not know is that Modern Warfare 3 was actually the first game I did quad feet with every gun for. And the L11 specifically was like one of the hardest guns to get a quad feet with because it's so slow. Dude, that fire rate is so pathetic. Picked the wrong lobby to want to have fun in, didn't I? Yep, I think so. At least you got C4'd. <laughs> Dude, this is just a spammy lobby. Are you fucking kidding me? Spamming stuns and Z4's like, goddamn! Okay, that's it. You fucked with the wrong nerd. I'm busting out the MP7 now. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, just fucking kill me. Fuck it. As OG as this game is, it's frustrating the fuck out of me right now. I'm starting to think that Eric from like fucking 10 years ago did not know how to make classes. Because apparently they're all shit. We lost. Oh my god. 14 to 24? This is how I feel about my brain right now playing this game. This is this is what I look like. Got either carbon. Oh, these are such shit maps. Why can't we get mission or hard hat or dome? <laughs> Getting the worst maps for this video. The ACR was like the nerd gun of choice, but I don't even want to use that though. Why are you switching to interchange last second? Dude, these split screeners, you are evil! <laughs> I can't even use anything decent on this shit now. Like, oh my god. I'm just gonna try to use the L11 some more, I guess. Ooh! That crispness of getting the specialist bonus. What the fuck? What is this? Can I stop lagging? Like, holy shit! No, stop it. None of you are better gonna- I made that sentence work. Enemy high and incoming. For fuck's sake, the stun grenades! What the fuck is wrong with the people in this lobby? You know, one of the things that we don't talk about too much in the COD community is how try-hard the new players are nowadays. So many people back then in the COD community were just kind of, you know, like, playing for fun and shit. Try to hit some cool clips with, like, guns that are really not that good. And then you have Wrath Motive, who's 18 and 2. First he got his attack chopper, now he's got his pave low. Oh boy, who fucking cares? I don't even know how I'm the best on the team quickscoping right now. My team is trash. Double stun! Are, are you fucking proud of yourself? Are you? You gotta stun me TWICE JUST TO KILL ME! I don't know if I'm starting to regret playing Modern Warfare 3 today. Oh, Eric. Oh, Eric. And there's the guy. There's the sweat. Oh boy, you dirty dick to eat! I'm not gonna have a voice after making this video. Like, dude, I, I just can't. What? <laughs> what was that kill? I mean, I went 16 to 6. I broke even. It could have been a lot worse. I could have been as shit as the rest of my team, but hey, I mean, I hung in there. I would try to keep playing this game and try to enjoy myself, but dude, fuck. It's not gonna happen. I need, I need to know when to quit. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play Modern Warfare 3 10 years later. Even though Modern Warfare 3 claims it has like 93,000 people playing, it's pretty hard to matchmake if you're playing backwards compatible. I don't know exactly how the experience is if you're just playing Modern Warfare 3 on like your Xbox 360 or your PS3, but just be warned, even though this game is is 10 years old, there's still people treating it like it's a brand new game. But regardless of that, I still hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you want to see some more throwback Call of Duty stuff, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. I don't need a, I don't need a, I don't, I don't, I don't need a dime. <laughs>